welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm putting together a special tutorial educating how to get Noble USDC onto the Corian mainnet. For those, for those of you that are unaware of the airdrop plan for the Sarah tokens coming up, the snapshot is 10 days away, January 9th. They're distributing 10 million Sarah tokens to wallets holding Noble USDC on the Corian mainnet. And a lot of you may be wondering how it's possible, how to get Noble USDC onto the Corium mainnet. So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you a step-by-step -step process on how to do this. Also, it looks like the Corium team is also gonna be hosting a special workshop to teach you guys on January 12th at 9 a.m. PST, how to get the USDC on Corium. I just figured I would share with you guys now the secret sauce. So let's go over the secret sauce now so all of you could qualify for the 10 million Sarah tokens. First of all, I went through the entire process. Uh, this process I've done with Leap Wallet. I've also done with Kepler Wallet. But in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to do this process with Leap. So first of all, we want to go to Assets. And what you have to be familiar with in this process is there is a lot of different USDC coins. And not all USDC coins are equal. The first one that pops up that only says USDC, when I click on it, I'm going to scroll down and see that this USDC is full, fully collateralized by the US dollar. This stablecoin is developed by Center, the open source project with Circle, uh, being the first of several forthcoming issuers. So the issuer of this USDC coin is Circle. And Circle is the one I want because Noble is partnered with Circle. That's the issuer, the native USDC. Other um, USDCs are affiliated with other issuers like Axler. We want the one that's the market cap of seventh from at the time of this video. So this is the one that we want. And what we are going to do is what I did is first step in the process is from my Corium address, I deposit it. Let's start all the way from the beginning for the new people. So first of all, you have to go to Noble, you have to go to Osmosis Zone. I'm gonna disconnect my wallet. So you're gonna go to the Osmosis app. When you the landing page for Osmosis is gonna look like this. I'm trying to do this as beginner friendly as possible for you guys. So you're gonna launch the app. And then I'm gonna connect my wallet. So we're using Leap and I connect my wallet. So now I'm interfacing with the Osmosis Dex and I already have some Corium deposited in here. Let's just pretend I don't. I'm going to deposit two under the assets tab, point two. And I'm gonna go ahead and approve this transaction for my Leap extension. And now I'm gonna have two Corium in here waiting for me. So watch. Just taking a moment. There it is. IBC transfer is complete. You see right here? So that's when you know your transfer is complete. Sometimes I lose patience. Anyways, so now we have two Corium ready to play with. I'm going to go to swap. I'm going to click Corium at the top. And then I'm going to go to USDC. Remember, we don't want any of these ones. We want just USDC coin. And now I'm going to trade one Corium for USDC. I'm going to approve the transaction. So that transaction failed. It's good that in this episode that I'm filming for you guys, you experience a transaction failing because it happens to everybody. So what we're going to do is just try again. And one other thing that you have to be aware of to use the Osmosis Dex, you do need to have a gas token to use the, uh, to pay the fees. So this situation, I need Osmo. I need Osmo to cover the gas fee. So I have Osmo in my wallet, but if you're brand new to Osmosis Dex, you will need to acquire 
osmosis token to uh, do these trades. Boom, the swap was successful. I now have 20 cents of USDC coin. So you could see it right here. I now have 20 cents here, USDC. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do an IBC transfer. So I'm going to go to my wallet extension. I'm going to click my leap wallet extension. And here I will see my noble USDC. I have 20 cents. I'm going to click that. Uh, actually, first of all, what we're going to need to do is go over to our Corium wallet to get the address to send. So I'm going to click this right tab here. I'm going to go ahead and search Corium in my Leap extension. I'm then going to copy this address. This is my Corium wallet address. And now I'm going to go to my Osmosis because that's where my Noble USDC is. And I'm going to click here. Or I could just click here, IBC. So not send, we're going to click IBC. We're going to do an IBC transfer right now. So I'm going to be teaching you guys your first ever IBC transfer if you're new here. So that's pretty exciting for me. So in the recipient is where we're going to put our Corium address. And it shows this is an IBC transfer. We're sending from the Osmosis ecosystem to another network, which is Corium. So it says amount to send. I want to send my Noble USDC. I'm going to send 19 cents. And I'm going to review the transfer. And I'm going to send. I already have some Noble USDC in my Corium. So let's take a look at it real quick. So I already have Noble USDC. Now let's refresh it. So after we click send, we're now going to go over to the Corium network and we'll see that the we now have a USDC coin uh, option available. I already had 33 cents, so then I just sent 19 cents. Now I have 52 cents here. And uh, this is what it'll, your wallet will look like if you are preparing for the Sarah snapshot. So you'll see Corium tokens and then you'll see USDC coin right underneath. So there is one bug in this process. There is one AP, like some issue with this from what I've seen is when you click USDC coin, do not be alarmed. It will say Axler. I believe they're still working and need to fix this. This is the correct USDC. I sent Noble USDC. I believe there is a mistake and they will be fixing this in the coming days. But yeah, so this is the process. It's fairly easy and simple. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a lot from this video and if you enjoy this content uh, please consider staking with the zen lounge we have an awesome validator with the corium community and would love for you to stake corium with the zen lounge everybody hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time peace